A lot of people have been wandering about this building that's going up behind me, so Randy and I thought we'd come and take a look so we can show you around. It's the Ryerson Student Learning Center, and even though it doesn't open until early next year, it's already a landmark here on Young Street. So let's go take a look. When you come up the main entrance off Young and Gould right in front of me, this is the room you enter. It's a large open space. These curved walls here eventually will have seating. They call this the amphitheater, and you can see why. Above me, we have some of the most elaborate acoustic tiles I've ever seen. Each one of these things is custom made. Quite fantastic, I would say. This is sort of the public area. There's a cafe back here. There's going to be seating and so on. But let's go to the top and work our way down. So here we are on the top floor, the eighth floor of the Student Learning Center. As you can see, it's still a construction site. That's why I'm dressed this way. Um, it's a large open area. This is where students will come. It'll be relatively quiet here. Work areas, workstations along the wall. Maybe the most interesting thing about this building is how it's all set slightly askew from the city grid. So you have fantastic views south down Young, north up Young, but there's a slight dissonance between the two. It sets up a tension that makes the building even more exciting than it already is. Now we've come down to the sixth floor. The architects call this the beach, and you can kind of see why. The whole, the whole floor is terraced up towards the high point there on the east, which is where the elevators are. And the idea is that this is a large open space where students will come, uh, in, probably in groups, maybe not quite as quiet as the floors above us, but still places for study rather than leisure. Again, it's trying to mimic some of the geometries on the building, the slopes, yeah. right? From the outside, the glass is what you notice. It's the first thing you see and the last thing you think of when you go past it. And I get the impression, Peter, that every single one of these is different, but that's not quite the case, is it? That's correct. We have a, an approximately 1 in 20 repeat pattern on the, uh, on the building system that's been distributed by the architect uh, in various different locations to create the impression of a random pattern across the entire skin of the building. So there's no randomness to it, even though it kind of looks like that? Correct. So there you have it, the new Ryerson Student Learning Center. There's as much going on on the inside as there is on the outside. And actually, when you look at it, you realize it's art as much as it is architecture. And a city, let alone a campus, can't have too much art. This is one building I can't wait to see. For the Star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.